Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Humbo here bringing you a brand new video and today we're going to be going over should you switch to keyboard and mouse in 2021. I made a similar video to this around six months ago and now with all these meta changes, I definitely figured it was time to recap it again to revisit the topic. And guys, this is going to be a great video. Just make sure you watch all the way through to get all the best information and really understand if the switch is right for you and the best ways to go about doing it. And yeah, guys, without further ado, make sure you drop a like and subscription on this video. You know what I'm saying? With the Nodi gang, Nodi bell on. Go to 50,000 subscribers. Also, I live stream on Twitch every single day. If you want to check that out, link is in the description as well. Yeah, let's get into this video, man. Should you switch to keyboard mouse 2021? Let's go. All right, guys, the first topic that we're going to be discussing today in this video is going to be a pro for keyboard and mouse as I go over some of these new meta changes that are in Fortnite now for 2021. And the first thing that we're going to be talking about is a lack of rotation for late game and arena and competitive. I mean, as you guys can see, we're in an end game right here and basically nobody can get height on us. There's no shockwaves in the game anymore so this is a huge huge change right shockwaves allowed for insanely long rotations especially a bouncer shock you could literally go from one side of dead zone to the other in a second which was really really you know cheesy i want to say kind of overpowered shockwaves gone rift fish also gone so all major rotation for the most part is gone you're pretty much left here with your ability to tunnel in tarp zone to zone right and this heavily favors keyboard and mouse obviously they get the mechanical advantage with tunneling so i would definitely say this rise to the stock of keyboard and mouse for this season it's a definitely a big plus for end game rotation every controller duo is going to need a keyboard and mouse player on their trio if they want to have a chance of rotating properly end game for the most part i'm sure there's controller players who can get away with tunneling but overall, you know, keyboard and mouse on average is going to be much, much better for tunneling with less rotation and also cranking for high ground. So all in all, I'm going to say this is a major pro for keyboard and mouse. Now let's get into the next meta change, man. All right, guys, the next major meta change that I'm going to be going over, and I'm sure you guys obviously all know this, is the pump shotgun being out of Fortnite now for 2021, as we've all seen this for the last month or two. And guys, honestly, I've actually really liked this meta personally. I've enjoyed playing with attack and the charge and getting used to these new like ways to fight. I've really liked it, not gonna lie. But, but it is definitely controller favored here, man. It is so easy to hop in a box now with an SMG. The punishment is like way, way less without the pump in the game. So you're gonna have a lot more controller players getting in your mouth, like making you uncomfortable. They just hop in spraying and it is very, very difficult to counter, more difficult than it has ever been before, right? So I definitely have to give a negative to keyboard and mouse on this one. If you guys can play with your piece control really well and know when it's time to trade shots and go blow for blow, you can do a decent job at defending against controller, but overall makes me very uncomfortable, right? When a controller player hops in my box and I'm using an attack or even a charge where all the pressure's on that one shot and they can just keep connecting with their SMG, you're gonna lose a lot of those trades. So I have to give the pro there to controller, man. I have to give it to controller. Overall though, guys, I would just like to make this point to you in this case to switch to keyboard and mouse or stick with keyboard and mouse if you're a couple weeks in, FNCS trios is going on for the next year straight. It's going to be three man teams also in arena. And if you guys are looking to find a solid duo to team up with and make a trio, a lot of those controller duos are going to be looking for a third keyboard and mouse player, especially people that are either coming from console, considering there's no platform cup, or just two console players on the next gen that are looking for a third, they're going to need a keyboard and mouse player who can help tunnel for them and IGL for them, right? And so you guys are going to be a way, way higher value in this community if you're on keyboard and mouse, considering there's le way less keyboard and mouse players than there are controller, if that makes sense. So by switching to keyboard and mouse and getting really solid mechs in game sense, you're going to be making yourself way more valuable to trios if you guys are looking to take a competitive route. So I definitely give the overall edge in 2021 to keyboard and mouse as far as meta changes. All right, guys, now we're going to be talking about about how long you can expect it to take to actually get very good and comparable on keyboard and mouse. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this topic because I have great information about it and lots of personal experience. But the one thing that I want to make very clear before I get into it is that tons of YouTubers are lying about their progression time. They're saying one week progression video, one month progression video. So much of that is lies, guys. These are unrealistic, crazy looking progressions in like a short amount of time. They're literally just doing that for views. They've been playing keyboard and mouse on the side for a couple of months. What you're watching is not actually that time frame, and it's probably very, very discouraging to you. And I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about and you've seen it before. Please don't get discouraged by this, guys. I'll tell you the realistic time frame right now. So how I look at it, is it six months to a year? You can be really, really good. 
But in that first six months, right? So six months, 180 days, you can pick one part, like portion of the game to be very, very good at. So you gotta put a ton of practice time into one area. Let's say you wanna be very, very good at arena, which is what I would recommend. I think it's the most fun, has the most longevity, all that stuff. So you guys would have to treat it like building blocks. You would have to start out playing fill game modes in creative to start to learn how to pick up different weapons and loot and play me playing some zone wars. And then you would slowly transition into the end game and into arena. And yeah, that's going to take time. It's going to take six, seven, eight months to become a very good fighter in W here. But if you guys get on every single day and you have that distinct goal in mind, that's what's so important when switching to keyboard and mouse, if you guys are considering this switch, is to have a very specific goal for what you want to achieve, right? It makes it so much easier to get on and practice with a purpose every day. So if you want to become a really good W here, make sure you write that down. You have it in mind. In six months, I want to be able to play arena and take fights really well. That means every day you got to get on and W key arena, man. You got to get tons and tons of fights in, even though you're going to be dying a lot. You got to set the ego aside and put in the work because this stuff takes a lot of patience. And I just want to really let you guys know that this is a six month to a year process to get really good. And anything else you guys see is lies for views. It's lies for views. Just want to make sure you guys know that it's super, super important because so many kids are being misled. Let's get right into the next topic on this video, man. Okay, guys, so going off of part of what we were just talking about, keyboard and mouse takes an extreme amount of patience to make the switch. That's why I tried to preface this last part by telling you guys it is going to be six months to a year to get really, really solid, man. And you guys have to have that in mind, right? It's so important because if you have a false idea of how long it's going to take, you're going to get de demotivated, right? So I would say the keyboard and mouse switch is for people who know how to be patient and understand that if you put in hard work month after month, the payoffs are huge, like really, really big if you stay consistent. So if you guys are sitting there thinking, should I switch to keyboard and mouse? Ask yourself these questions right now. Am I willing to put in that amount of practice for six months to a year, day in, day out? Do I find the new challenges in life, right? Like anything, because this is a huge, huge challenge. Are you the type of person that finds like a new challenge fun? Like, are you going to enjoy it? Because if you're getting on every single day and dreading the idea of having to get good at the game again and learn all your mechanics and everything again, right? You're going to not have a good time. You're not gonna make it, right? So I was the type of person where, yeah, there was definitely plenty of frustrating moments, but I also enjoyed it so, so much. Like the process of getting better and having those breakthroughs week in, week out, month in, month out was super, super enjoyable. I loved posting that type of stuff on my Twitter. Like it was just a good time all in all, streaming it on Twitch. It was very, very fun for me. If you're the type of person who can take those types of challenges and have fun with it, kind of set your ego aside and just be willing to roll with the deaths and the failures because there's going to be tons of them, then maybe it's the right switch for you, man. I'm telling you. Let's get to the next topic, bro. All right, guys, the next thing that is extremely important important if you want to have a successful switch to keyboard and mouse is are you the type of person right another question to ask yourself are you the type of person that can get out of their comfort zone, recognize when they're doing something wrong, right? Be self-aware, basically. If you guys are playing in the same box, like you're putting yourself in the same box every day, just doing things that you're comfortable with. So you switch to keyboard and mouse and you pick up a couple little techniques or something. You find a way that you can play pretty comfortably and then you just stay stagnant in that area. You guys are going to have a terrible time switching because you're going to pick up these bad habits and you're not going to be building and well-rounding your gameplay. Basically, you're going to run into a second wall like months later, basically kind of like a reset. And a lot of times that's going to be too demotivating and it's going to take people out. So my next major thing, should you switch in 2021? Are you the type of person who can adapt to metas and recognize when you're just sitting in your comfort zone? Basically, what I'm telling you is you kind of have to go out of your way to fail on purpose if you want to get really, really good. People who go back into those same routines every day, yes, at first, they might do better than somebody who is trying new things and failing, right? At first, they might do better and be more comfortable. But over time, as the months go by, the person who keeps trying new game modes, trying new W King, right? Like they're not camping in arena for points to show their friends, they're dying over and over. Yes, at first, it may suck, but you will prevail, bro. If you're the type of person with that progressive mindset, once again, willing to set aside the ego. They don't care about what their friends think of their arena points or whatever it might be. You're beating them in 1v1s because you're trying new moves in 1v1s. You're trying new moves in box fights. You're trying to evolve into a more well-rounded player. I promise this right here, what I'm telling you will get you so, so far if you guys follow through on it. 100 times out of 100 times. The last really important tip that I want to give you guys about the keyboard and mouse switch and if you should do it or not, just please make sure you guys at least consider this. 
you don't have to jump right into it buying the most expensive mouse, the most expensive keyboard. It's not necessary. Cop yourself something from Walmart, man, a five, ten dollar mouse, ten, twenty dollar keyboard, and just try it, man. It's definitely worth giving it your best shot, and you can always switch back if it's really not for you. So you really have nothing to lose. Try not to overthink it. Go for it, man. It's always worth trying new things. But yeah, without further ado, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Please make sure you drop a like and a subscription with a notice on. If you did go on to enjoy this video, man, road to 50k subs. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day, man.